I'm just doing this one today because I can't recall the tide coming this far up Portminster Beach. Although obviously it would have done many times down the years. And the effect of these storms is to create this tremendous slope up towards the top of the beach, as well as exposing these rocks. This slope's a bit of a problem when you're kicking towards the goal, towards the sea, because the keeper doesn't stop here until it's well wide. It's a feral schlep to go and get the ball back. Water came up to the lifeguards' huts and covered up the path below the putting green. Thanks to my friend John Chard for telling me about this. The area directly in front of the pier is a bit like quicksand and I did know that but I completely forgot. And about a second later, I had water in my boots. I don't know what that is, but it could well have been put there when the Victoria extension was built, so between 1888 and 1890. 